So this will be this will be much quicker this time. I just have to get to five and platinum get. So next stop, Firestone Depot. Firestone oh yeah, the Iridian weapons stop. are terrible too. Who's getting off the bus? <laughs> But they're really fun. With the sniper rifle and, the crazy man. and that's all alarmed. that really matters. I need you to stay but see, like, that's the problem with the rocket launchers and the sniper me. rifles. They're bad Start and they're not fun. Because they just miss everything. The sniper you rifles, I guess, are okay. In but... a moment, you'll be oh. greeted by a funny little robot. Do everything he says. You'll know what I, mean I think the happens. the newer versions of Borderlands 2 are much better too, because the original Borderlands 2, unfortunately, the B and the conference call were so broken that there was no reason well, to use anything we're else. Here. <laughs> Don't worry about saying goodbye. But uh, I'm sure we'll be doing now that those are fixed, there's a bunch of different <laughs> broken things that you can use uh, that are fun. Get off my bus. Yeah, I'll never forget. I'll never forget my first experience with uh, <laughs> the bee in the conference call. Welcome to Firestone. I where, am CL4PTP. You uh, me and three buddies were fighting Terramorphus, which is the super boss Before in the in Borderlands 2. We were farming him for uh, class mods, and we spent like all day. Only beat him a few times. And then one of our friends had to leave. And we accidentally left the game on, like, public. Because we had four people in the party, so we didn't even worry about what the invite thing was. But when he left, it was on public. I detected your echo so some random guy joined. This way, please. We are like, oh, this guy's probably going to suck. And Terramorphous is harder because there's four of us now. So that's gonna suck. And then he walked into the arena with Terramorphus, pulled the trigger, and he died. And then he left. <laughs> he went in, he checked the loot, took nothing, and left. And we were like, okay. <laughs> that was the day I learned that uh, the B conference call was completely busted in the original Borderlands 2. Not again. How's it going, Staka? How's it going, Daniel? Yeah, so uh, I actually did this platinum off stream. Uh, me and Zulof played through the whole game, and I got most of the trophies. And now we just have one trophy left. I have to get to level 15 on Siren. And then we'll have the platinum. So we're just doing it real quick. We have played a good amount of Borderlands on stream, though. We, we played uh, a lot of Borderlands 2 back in the day. Or 5, not 15. Same thing. What did I get? I got another hive mind. And Silent Knight. You're kidding me. Couldn't I have gotten a weapon with ammo? Is that possible? What the? Something exploded. Oh my god, that guy. <laughs> that guy's shotgun blast went completely around me. That was hilarious. Like 
Yeah, the DLC arenas can get pretty grindy. Yeah. I like the arenas a lot though, so I don't mind it. Killing sprees, eh? I wonder. I think it was a killing spree. Kill you. Excellent. I knew you were the right choice, friend. Now go. I think it was uh, a you again soon. I think it was an SMG thing. Attention citizen of Firestone. There is no cause for alarm. Oh, okay, I got the first one, not the second one. Well, shoot. Yeah, I'm going to try Wonderlands. Excited to see what it's all about. Somebody said earlier that uh, it's a bit too similar to Borderlands 3. That makes me kind of sad because it, it definitely seemed like by the trailers they were trying to separate it from Borderlands 3 and make it like really different. But at the same time, I like Borderlands 3, so I'm not, like, totally against it. But from the trailers, it really seemed like they were going for more of, like, a RPG-style, almost like Skyrim with a weapon in each hand. And I don't know, it just seemed like the style of it was still Borderlands, but they were really trying to, like, differentiate it. So I'm sad to hear that it's actually pretty similar to Borderlands 3. But could still be good. Hard to go wrong with Tiny Tina, right? <laughs> Remove Tyreen. Good game. I was really disappointed with Borderlands 3 when I first played it, but my second playthrough I enjoyed it a lot, and the DLC was good. So I actually ended up really liking it, but my first experience with it was really miserable. And yeah, I did not like the plot of 3, or like the Maiden campaign. But some of the side quests in the main game were good. I feel like a lot of people played Borderlands 3 and they were like, not as funny as 2! <laughs> and just said the whole thing sucks, but honestly, a lot of the side quests were really funny and really quotable. It's just Borderlands 2 is a hard act to follow. Playing through it again, I realized how many like amazing side quests there were. 
how many funny quotes there were. This game sucks. The cutscenes in that Man, game were Kevin. truly miserable, though. And like, don't yet trust you. If you're going I feel like in Borderlands like 1 and Borderlands 2, they did a pretty good job of like your character the being in the cutscenes. But like the main characters really did the stuff. In Borderlands 3, I'm constantly sitting there wondering what the heck my character is doing. Like every cutscene, they're like. <laughs> something happens, and my guy's standing there. And I'm like, why am I not helping? It's like you just don't really fit in the story at all. Like, I'm fine with being a uh, stereotypical um, vault hunter. And then, like, Lilith and crew do all the talking. But, it, I don't know, they just didn't do a really good job incorporating you into the story. Dude, gas is crazy. It's up to four dollars here in Ohio, and I know that's low in comparison. Yeah, and then of course there's the elephant in the room, which is uh, Tyreen is just really bad. I like I, I really don't feel like the idea behind Tyreen was awful, but it just wasn't what it what they wanted it to be. I also feel like they could have gone further with the whole, like, streamer humor. So, like, the whole funny thing with Tyreen is she's, like, a content... She's, like, an influencer. And so, like, they make all these jokes about, like, Iridian-tier followers and stuff. They don't really go anywhere with it. Like, after the first couple hey, missions, they just kind of, like, repeat the same joke. It would have been funnier if they, like... One more step and it'll be your last. Went further with it. <laughs> you yeah. Have seen the look on your face. <laughs> Remember to like, follow, and obey. It's like that was funny the first time, but then they don't go anywhere with it. <laughs> it was incorrect. Wasn't even funny the first time. Yeah, I don't think I ever laughed at it, so you're not wrong. But I at least understood where they were going with it. But then they didn't go anywhere. I feel like there's many other jokes you could make about influencers in today's world that would be, like, relevant and funny. Like, where was the part where Tyreen, like, told everyone about a really cool new thing called Bit Iridium? And they should all put their money into it and then like <laughs> the next the next level she's like ooh looks like the value of bit iridium has gone down substantially good thing i sold <laughs> that could have been funny hey newcomer i've been looking for you Yo, welcome back, Solid. Yeah, I'm just cleaning up the Platinum. I uh, got all the trophies off stream with uh, Zuloff. I just have one more trophy to get. Yeah, we almost got it. We gotta go up one more level. Once I go buy this grenade, I'll have it. Doom went really well. I did get a PB, but it wasn't... It had a death in it. So we're gonna keep grinding. But I had one run that, to, oh, real, really three runs. I had three runs that were really good that died to the last level. Oh, I was hoping buying stuff would get me. I actually did get the challenge, but it just barely didn't get me five.
Well, it's put that way because that's how the original Borderlands was. It was only the... Because the DLC wasn't included. Actually, I do have most of the DLC trophies. That number to the side is incorrect. I'm not sure why. For some reason, it says I have 49. I should say I have like 60-some. timing. Sefri, they go to 32. Alright, time for fun. There it is. We did it. Platinum get. So yeah, like uh, like Snaka said, there's uh, some DLC trophies. That are, all the DLC trophies are separate. But we got the plat. And uh, there we go. Let's go add it to the list. All right, so PS4. This is Borderlands Game of the Year Edition. This was one that I just did off stream on my own. Do I even need to put a I comment? Mean, I guess I will. And then this platinum is the same exact platinum as original Borderlands. Um, the DLC trophies are split correctly. So, um, there it is. It's right in front of my face. So, we'll just be copying this 4.5 and 7, because it is exactly the same. The only difference is, uh, you know, load times are faster. The DLC is included, and you get Game of the Year perks, like better weapons at the start. But none of that really affects the platinum at all, so we'll keep those numbers the same. Pretty good. And then what was my time? This is the other thing that'll be different. Um, this time will be kind of uh, not accurate <laughs> because uh, I really just played the game casually off stream. And then just decided I was close to the Platinum, so might as well get it. But, let's see what it says. Fifty-four. So we'll just put that. Uh, this Platinum can definitely be achieved much quicker than that, but... And there we go. That is Borderlands Game of the Year Edition. The uh, remastered version of it for PS4. And that is our 127th Platinum Trophy.